So the end of the event was the creme de la creme. It was wonderful. It was so exciting uh, having the live stream and the live feed uh, going on while the uh, uh, showing of the movies came on, a showing of the animation shorts came on was terrific. The whole event, uh, it, it was a perfect wrap up of a great, exciting weekend. Uh, there are lots of things that we're going to change for next year and make it much better. We had it was a great experiment for the first time ever, uh, but to to have the final showing of all those great, uh, really cute, witty, clever, um, highly developed for such a short amount of time uh, stories and animations was mind blowing. It was super fun. Uh, everyone was satisfied. Uh, I, they're all up on the website on our YouTube page, so you can check them out. And uh, I believe it's on our Tumblr page as well. Uh, but it was, it was a great event, and the animation was fantastic. It really was. It was a great project. Excellent. I feel good. I'm glad we were able to get all uh, our short done. <laughs> Uh, we encountered some last minute problems that uh, kind of delayed us a little bit, but we got we got through it. It was I'm looking forward to showing it off. Ha happy now that it's over, but that we finished the project and it is great. It's particularly and I can't wait for us to show it. Good. Um, kind of relieved we everything's together. Uh, <laughs> very tired because haven't really slept in two days. <laughs> Um, still a bit little nervous because we're still uploading stuff, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really surprised we managed to get everything together, like people back home, since our team was split between like coming to the real animation jam on site and back home in Pittsburgh. Um, people were very cooperative and they stayed up like the entire night back home, so it was surprising, a good surprise. I feel good that we finished. But on my part, because I was the compositor and time was running down, I wasn't able to get completely everything in there, but um, I did get uh, a lot of stuff for the most part. Me, I feel a little relieved. It's a sort of a bittersweet feeling because we're done and like that's, that's over with, the stress is gone, but at the same time, it's a little bit of a disappointment and a little bit of a, like a, we won't, we won't get to work together like this again, and the disappointment coming from, like, I, f I feel like we could have made this so much better if we just planned it out better, focused more, things like that. I feel feel pretty accomplished. I mean, we we, uh, we worked hard, all of us. Uh, we got our thing, our project done. It was technically done within the schedule, so um, right now we're just uploading it to see how it all turned out. Uh, I don't know. Uh... I feel sad <laughs> because it's like, you know, almost over, you know, I had a lot of fun like with me and my teammates and just meeting other people here, meeting the staff here, meeting like other art fellow artists, networking. It was so much fun and it's like a you know, mini convention just for like, you know, you're making something instead of like going stuff that to see things that are made. So I, I really appreciate it. It's kind of sad that, you know, it's about to end. Um, I'm feeling great that we got done and now we're in like the aftermath of of working on something like a little mini unspoken celebration. <laughs> it's like okay, we can relax now. <laughs> so I learned very much. I even learned from Anton, who's a really a great, a really great character designer. Go Horizon. I learned, I'm glad I learned a lot from everyone. So it's good to. You know, relearn what you already know, and then it makes your your art stronger, and the animation as well stronger. On the second day, it was mostly timing. We had the storyboards finished, we had the idea finished, so really, we were staying overnight, getting them colored, and also trying to get it before the deadline. We were a little bit late, but we upload it, so it should be good. To, so it's good to go. So we're happy to present. Um, I I guess the longer it went on, the more cluttered sort of the the cloud storage sort of like technology things ended up being. So things got a little confusing at the end that we managed to disentangle. But 
if you're gonna work sort of like remotely, then you have to make sure like you get everything organized, like on point that like that. There's two problems. Um, I guess it would be time. Um, we kind of we may have underestimated the amount of work that was needed left over, and the amount of resources we had to finish it. So we were kind of just stressed for time. We were much less goofy. We uh, were more determined, more focused on just getting it done. But at the same time, we weren't stressing. We weren't um, we weren't like panicking or anything. We knew we would be able to do it. Um, I guess getting everybody to upload their finished work and also internet was kind of like I guess we had internet problems because everyone was using it um, so the bandwidth was like pretty slow um, it was difficult to get everyone's videos my personal challenge was that I had skill a set of skills but there were people on our team that could do it better and that was the only set of skills that I was able to do so I was limited to just uh, one and when my when my you know when my turn was over when all I had to do was when was done there wasn't much else for me to do so I had to make myself more useful in that aspect and limiting myself to know how to animate in one program I need to learn how to animate not I mean I don't want to stress myself out but learning to animate in more than one program might be a lot more helpful Well, personally for me, like all my just personal animations, the casual animations that I work on at home when I have some downtime, I seem to never get to finish them. So I'm relieved that, you know, this will be the first big one that I actually got to finish completely and have it published. So, you know, it's, it just feels good to have that done and hopefully that'll be the start of me being able to finish the rest of the junk I have in my computer. Um, I guess like managing skills, it was, you had to keep everything really organized so that people knew exactly what they were doing, um, when to do certain things, who to help, um, and like, I guess when they can leave <laughs> and when they need to stay. Um, and. I don't know, it was a good experience. Uh, I got to help out a lot of people, and people asked me a lot of questions, and I was able to like, figure everything out that people needed, so it was good. I learned to be more fluid with and that really helped me a lot. Now I can draw characters in the pose without relying too much on live action, which is still very helpful in the way I could just think it and draw freely, and I don't wait any time. I'm not spending five or 10 minutes on one pose, I'm spending like a minute or two on just one pose and immediately going to the next. So I feel more freer and much lighter than I have been since I've been at Bloomfield College. Well, that, this is the first, I mean, this is the first time I've actually had to collab with people I know, or people at all, rather, on an art project um, under, you know, guidelines and time limit and all of that. It's all new. It's first experience, so we had a lot of difficulties. Well, not a lot, but we had some difficulties that probably would have been avoided if we were more experienced in uh, time management and cooperation and um, um, just, you know, understanding what was needed of each of each and every one of us. So, you know, we've learned from it, and if we ever do it again, we'll be much more prepared. I feel like I learned a lot about both working with the Maya software and like, it was actually sort of a humbling experience because um, I like to be, like I typically like to be in control like in leading projects, but this was one project where like, I feel, I felt like I didn't have, I, fe I feel, I felt like I didn't have the most experience with the medium we were working on. So I sort of like deferred to, and like asked for help, like openly asked for help from other people. I think that was a positive experience overall, just sort of like swallowing my pride and like just trying to get this thing done. Uh, this experience, um, it definitely makes me respect my craft a little more and it makes me respect more of what 2D animators do because uh, I am a 3D animator and I was only the composite artist and um, the sound engineer for my team. Um, you know, I thought this was gonna be very tough and uh, I knew it was going to be tough, and it ended up, you know, it was a maybe a little tougher than I thought. And uh, by day one, I really didn't know, like, how much we were going to get done, but, you know, they really showed up, and they played hard, and they 
well, I mean, they worked hard, <laughs> and then and they got stuff done. And uh, you know, I'm very proud of them. They were very successful. Uh, I give them all the credit. I'm not afraid or intimidated anymore. Um, in the beginning, I was like, oh no, yeah, I gotta like grind, level grind and stuff, because you know, I'm not that great as everybody else. But I don't know. It was like um, being here and enduring all the things that I did with my teammates made me want to animate more. You know, instead of just, <laughs> you know, like most artists do. So I, I felt like it gave me more confidence. You know, to not be, to be okay with where I am, but to be better. That to be to have this greater like sense of confidence that I could be even better, and I could get there instead of just comparing myself to others that artists do all the time. It's a given. You don't, you know, you don't become an artist and not do that. You know, so I feel like that fear has been quelled and quieted and I feel that this whole experience gave me the confidence to not only be better but to do more you know and not to be afraid to in involve myself in collaborations or competitions or uh, or projects or challenges you know that I could do it you know so I felt like I really appreciate this whole experience for giving me that confidence you better register soon this is going to be the next big thing. Uh, this is, uh, it's going to get better every year and bigger every year. And this one in particular is going to be very exciting because it's number two and the buzz is out. And uh, I think it was such a positive experience and on so many levels for beginning animators and um, amateurs. Uh, and possibly, uh, if we get some professionals, it would be a great experience for them, too. So uh, I'm looking forward to next year for 2016, and I think you should be, too.